Hi there, and welcome to this Okta support video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to integrate a Salesforce community site in Okta so you can provide your users with a seamless single sign-on experience. To get started, go to your Okta admin dashboard and navigate to Applications, Applications. Then, click on Browse App Catalog and search for salesforce.com. Once you've found it, click on the Add Integration button. Next, we'll configure the general settings of the integration. Create an application label like Salesforce Community and enter your custom Salesforce domain. Here's an important note. When integrating a Salesforce Community in Okta, a new Salesforce.com integration is required, even if a Salesforce.com integration already exists. Now, select the user profile and type, which should be Salesforce Community User, and click the Next button. In the next step, we'll set up SSO for the integration. Select SAML 2.0 and then click View Setup Instructions to follow the instructions for configuring SSO for your Salesforce community site. Make sure you enter the community login URL here, not the Salesforce login URL from Step 9 in the View Setup Instructions. Once you've completed the SSO configuration, it's time to enable provisioning. Follow the instructions at the help.octa.com document shown here. Still on the provisioning tab, click on the To App link. Click the Edit button and set the Salesforce account ID to the account associated in Salesforce with the community site. This is the ID of the Salesforce account with which provisioned external users should be associated. In this example, we're using a fake Salesforce account ID for demonstration purposes. You can find the Salesforce account ID for this in the URL of the profile in Salesforce as shown in this screenshot. And that's it. You've successfully integrated your Salesforce community site in Okta. Don't forget to check out Okta's support playlist often for more helpful videos. Thanks for watching.